Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday, the 26th of February. So, uh, market settled off a little bit uh, in that session yesterday. Um, we had a really great start, and then we had some sell-off, which caused a great pullback. So, what I've done today is I've gone to our stock signals membership area, uh, where we get potential long and short fifth wave trades to our membership so the, the date here 26 click on the image download the spreadsheet which looks something like this today now look at all of these potential fifth wave moves on a 60 minute time frame here after that pullback yesterday there could be some good potential longs here if we get some support so i've chosen just one of these off this list to go through and set up for a potential fifth wave move so I've chosen MRC on the 60 minute time frame. Um, let's go through um, this. Let me just move these subcharts down a little bit. So first of all, this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and Multichart. So let's just talk about MRC. Recently had earnings, which gave it a big boost. Since then, on this intraday time frame for the last three trading days, we've had some profit taking pullback, which seems to run out of juice yesterday. So as you can see, overall, uh, we are strong, strong bullish at the moment. Uh, so we our stock signals membership filters have picked this up because on this wave for pullback, the behavior that we marry, uh, measure, the 535 was pulled back between 90 and 140 percent. The stochastic, which is the middle uh, subchart, has had a false breakout bar on the top, denoting a really strong bullish trend. And then this wave four pullback has pulled back and crossed over in the oversold zone. Our multiple time frame dot cloud here shows really strong bullish trend on all time frames, all the way up to the weekly. And then you can see this pullback denoted in the cyan and red and cyan clouds dot clouds here on this 60 minute and the two hourly time frame with this second row of dots. So we've had a great normal wave for pullback. And, th and then secondly, uh, we look at the chart here. We can see the wave for pullback has found initial support in our green probability zones. So these are our three pullback zones, if you like. The green zone represents an 85% probability that we're going to go on and make a new fifth wave high into our automated target zones here. Uh, top end of there is about 1940. So all in all, that's, that signals membership gets those initial um, signals, if you like, and then we've just got to set them up. I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from TradeTheFifth.com, as I mentioned. Uh, so this becomes a lot more easier now. It's more about the entry strategy more than anything. So we've got a great way for pullback. Uh, we seem to have found that low yesterday and started to move away despite the negativity in the market. So, the, you know, we need to be reasonably conservative with this, but um, we've got a, a good chance we're going to get a probability of getting that new fifth wave high. So my entry strategy, usually we'll look at the 6-4 moving average high here. For really aggressive entry uh, out of there uh, in the first hour of today's session, which would be about 1811. However, I need to consider this potential left shoulder of a head and shoulders. I don't really want to get caught up in that and then it moved down. So I don't want to tiptoe trigger at 1809, 1810 for it only just to find resistance at this level. So I've gone above this level here. Uh, this is reasonably cheap stocks. You don't need to go that far above. So 1834 is my entry long. So nice and conservative, making sure we're moving away from these lows, but also it's above yesterday's high as well. Stop loss 1768 and our automated target zone, the top end of there is 1940. That gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6, which is my minimum risk reward for this type of trade. So even with being very, very conservative on our entry strategy here, we've got a good risk reward. It's got to beat yesterday's high. It's got to beat this resistance level on the left here. So it's got to do some work. And if it manages to get that work done through 1834, we've got a good long fifth wave move on MRC on the 60 minute time frame. Okay, so very, very simple to set up. Signals came from our stock signals membership, uh, and I've used our Elliott Wave indicator suite for Think or Swim to actually set this trade up and put a sensible entry strategy together. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.